Hello, Dan Edelkowski here and welcome to my sixth Arduino tutorial from my Arduino tutorial series. Uh, today I will talk about uh, processing development environment. I will give an uh, example where uh, I will use the processing development environment to uh, control the uh, Arduino board and uh, vice versa. Processing is an open source programming language and integrated development environment. It is largely graphic based, so it's uh, ideal for uh, electronic arts, new media art and uh, visual design communities. You can download it from its uh, official website, uh, similar to the uh, Arduino uh, development environment and uh, just extract it on your computer. Also, you can find uh, a lot of examples and uh, tutorials for uh, using it. Processing looks uh, similar to the Arduino development environment uh, because actually the Arduino programming language is uh, based on uh, processing. Okay, so for the example we are going to do, first we have to make a code using the Arduino development environment and upload it to the Arduino board. That code will enable interaction between the processing development environment and the Arduino board using the serial communication. After that, uh, using the processing development environment, we will make an application for controlling the Arduino board. Okay, so uh, I will use the exactly same code we uh, developed in the previous uh, tutorial. So uh, the previous uh, tutorial was for uh, serial communication and I uh, highly uh, recommend it, uh, watching it because uh, that's the base uh, in order to uh, understand the communication between the uh, Arduino and the processing. So first I will give a, a quick overview uh, for this code uh, that uh, we are going to use to uh, program the Arduino card. So uh, here for the first example uh, we will use this code and this code uh, uh, we will uh, first de define the, the two pins that we are going to use that will be for the LED and for the button and uh, in the setup we will initialize them as an uh, output and input and also we will uh, start the serial communication. Uh, now in the uh, loop we will build uh, our program. Um, first we will start with this uh, if statement here and uh, this this means that uh, uh, we will uh, see if uh, something is uh, available uh, uh, in the in the serial port or uh, if we have sent something from the computer to the Arduino and there is a data for uh, transferring uh, uh, this uh, statement will be true and uh, the following code will be executed and uh, here uh, we are uh, reading that uh, value or uh, what we have typed in the serial monitor and according to that uh, we will uh, turn on or off the uh, LED so if we type 1 the LED will uh, turn on and if we type uh, 0 the LED will turn off and uh, for the second part uh, here we uh, uh, we have a uh, we will read the button state or uh, whether the button is uh, pressed or not and uh, we uh, we have here uh, we are sending uh, data from the Arduino to the computer when the button is uh, pressed and the we will uh, print that on the serial monitor. So uh, using this code we are uh, demonstrating the serial communication between the uh, the computer and the uh, Arduino card. So now instead of uh, using the Arduino serial monitor for uh, controlling these commands uh, we will connect uh, the Arduino board to the processing development environment and uh, using the serial communication we will control these commands with processing. Okay, so first uh, we need to import the library for uh, serial communication. We do it like this. We need to do this because uh, the serial library is not a default library here in pro processing like it was in the Arduino. Also, we need to uh, create object from type serial. I will name it my port. And a string. I will name it my text and uh, here we will uh, uh, put the values we are getting uh, from the serial uh, port from the uh, Arduino uh, that's the uh, th that's the text uh, 
button is uh, pressed and we will get that when the button is pressed actually okay uh, now in the setup uh, first uh, we will set a resolution for the graphical window here in processing so using this uh, size we will set the resolution 300 by 300 pixels okay and now uh, we have to initialize the serial port just like we were doing uh, in the Arduino with uh, serial dot uh, begin function here is a bit uh, different we do it like this Here we set the name of our uh, COM port uh, for my computer. Uh, my Arduino is connected to COM port 4. You should, you should check uh, what's uh, your uh, COM port or, uh, but this uh, is only for uh, Windows, for uh, Linux and Mac. Uh, this here is uh, a bit different. This is the bar rate. Okay, so and here I will use the buffer until function and what this does is uh, it's buffering and uh, when, when, when waiting uh, until we get something or uh, in our case that's the backslash n uh, which is a special character that uh, indicates a new line. Uh, so this means when uh, we will hold the, the button, uh, what we will get in the uh, Arduino serial monitor is the text uh, button is uh, pressed and uh, it will always be in a new line because we are using the function uh, println. Uh, so that means here in the processing, uh, we will read the values from the serial port until uh, there is a new line. In our case, uh, that will be uh, the the text uh, button is pressed. Okay, now that's for the setup. Okay, so now we will uh, look for a serial event. We do it like this. And now, uh, so uh, when uh, there is a serial event or a data uh, coming uh, to the processing, we will read that and uh, put it into uh, the my text uh, variable as a string. So uh, my my text variable will uh, get the value uh, coming from the serial port using this uh, read string until function. which will uh, read uh, what's in the serial port until there is a new line and that means uh, we will read the button is pressed text that is coming from the Arduino when the button is pressed okay now in the draw function here uh, this is actually uh, repeating all the time and uh, up uh, this is what it updates the the graphical screen. First, we will uh, set the background. I will set the black background, and now I will uh, set the text on the screen using this function text, and we will set the text uh, in the variable uh, my text. And this will be the starting coordinates for the text. Okay, and now uh, we'll reset the value of the variable so that uh, when we uh, release the button, uh, uh, there will be no text on the screen. OK, 
Okay, and uh, for the second part, for the control of the LEDs, we will make these if statements. Mouse pressed and uh, mouse button equal to left. So what this means is uh, mouse pressed is a reserved uh, variable that uh, gets the uh, value uh, whether the mouse is uh, pressed or not and the mouse button uh, indicates uh, whether that's the left or the right button. So if we press the left button on the screen we will uh, send uh, through the serial port character one and that will turn on the uh, LED and if we send zero that will we will make to the LED to turn off So if we press the right click, we will send to the serial port a character 0 and that will turn off, off the LED. So let's see how this works. Let's make a quick overview of the codes. Uh, with these lines here, the write functions, we are transmitting data from processing and through the serial port we receive that data into Arduino using the serial.read function. Using the serial.println function we are transmitting data from Arduino and uh, through the serial port we receive that data into processing using the read string until function. So here when I will uh, press the run button the application will start this is the graphical window uh, and we set uh, a black background uh, and now when I will uh, click on the left button the LED turns on and with the right click of the button the LED turns off and we can also notice that the Rx uh, LED on the Arduino card uh, flashes that means that the Arduino is receiving data from the uh, computer through the uh, serial communication port and here when uh, we will press the button we can see the text button is pressed and also see the uh, TX, TX LED flashes that means that the Arduino is transmitting data through the serial uh, port to the computer If you have any questions, you can ask them uh, in the comments section. And uh, also, if you like my videos, please subscribe, like and uh, share them.